Okay, the Saskin Hutch Environment Explorers are back to where we were yesterday and uh, it's now 12.30 and we're on 9,325.9 kilometres. As you can see, I've got four huge black bags to pick up the rubbish along the road. Let's see how many we can pick up today. Okay, from here where I was just last, maybe last video to down there, you can just about see it, it's a black bag. I've picked up 31 bottles already, okay. Now this is on one side of the road and it's got a little bank to it so you can't really see but when you go over on top of the bank you see all the rubbish in there. I just want to show you what it's like on the other side of the road because it's the same thing, okay. But I'm going from north to south, so if anyone's coming from south, north to the south let me put this plastic bottle there, bits of rubbish all here. Uh, rubbish, one, two, three bottles for any four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bottles there. Okay. Look, they're taking the sap from the, the trees all through this forest. All through this forest area, this is rubbish is on collecting. Now, there are about 13 bottles there, but let's look at this lot here. Okay, it's on the other side of the road. Let's look at it all. Okay. This is in Portugal on the west coast in a beautiful pine forest which they are even having the nerves to take the sap from the trees or the resins from the trees. Look at it all. This is the other side of Portugal that you might not see or want to see. But like I said, every Portuguese person should be ashamed. Every European person should be ashamed. And every human on the planet should be now acting against plastic. It's ridiculous. Look what you just do to it.